The surveillance footage you're witnessing here is the last few moments of Lily Sullivan's life. She recently turned 18 and was eager to experience everything adult life had to offer. On December 16, 2021, Lily was out with friends at the Paddles nightclub in Pembroke, Wales, when she met 31-year-old Lewis Haynes. The two hit it off immediately and hung out for most of the night, dancing, laughing, and flirting. At around 2 a.m. that morning, Lily and Lewis left the club together in search of a bit of privacy before her mom was due to pick her up at 3 a.m. They walked to a nearby alleyway, which was secluded and unlit, giving them the privacy they had wanted. At 2.45, Lily's mom arrived and called her to let her know that she was waiting at a nearby gas station. Lily assured her mom that she was on her way and that she would be there in a couple of minutes. However, as the minutes ticked by without Lily's arrival, her mom grew increasingly concerned. She tried calling Lily a total of 30 times, but all of her calls went unanswered. At 3.08 a.m., Lewis is seen running across the bridge of the Pembroke Mill Pond, and two minutes later he reaches the very same gas station where Lily's mom was anxiously awaiting her daughter's arrival. Her mom immediately notices Lewis, sensing something peculiar about his behavior. He shakes his head a few times and even holds his head in his hands, exhibiting signs of unease. At one point, he turns back and makes direct eye contact with her before continuing onward and disappearing into the nearby woods. Unbeknownst to Lily's mom, the man she had just made eye contact with was the very same man who had murdered her daughter a couple of minutes earlier. This is the heartbreaking case of Lily Sullivan. Lily Sullivan was an 18-year-old resident of Pembroke, Wales. She was described as a beautiful girl inside and out, although Lily herself remained blissfully unaware of how beautiful she really was. She was a talented artist, had a love of tattoos, and especially loved house music. Her friends admired her for being mature and well-spoken beyond her years, as well as for her ability to see the best in people. Lily was also an advocate against misogyny, sexual violence, and the gruesome crime of femicide, often using her Instagram account to raise awareness and speak out against the darkness that plagued society, never imagining that she would ultimately become a victim of the very atrocities she fought against. In 2021, Lily Sullivan was 18 years old. She had recently started attending college and was also working part-time at a supermarket. Embracing the newfound independence that accompanied her transition into adulthood, she began exploring the vibrant nightlife of the clubs and pubs in Pembroke, as the legal drinking age in Wales is 18. While Lily's mother understood and supported her daughter's desire to experience the world, she remained ever vigilant and fiercely protective over Lily. Regardless of the hour, her mom made it a point to always pick Lily up after a night out, ensuring that her safety remained paramount. This unwavering commitment stemmed from a deep-rooted connection forged through a challenging journey. Her mother had endured the heart-wrenching pain of 14 miscarriages before Lily was born, making her presence all the more cherished. On December 16, 2021, Lily and some friends went to the Paddles nightclub in Pembroke in search of a fun night out. During the course of the evening, she met 31-year-old Lewis Haynes, who was also out with friends for the night. He was an oil refinery worker and a well-known cricket player from the area, who enjoyed celebrating his team's victories with a good party. Throughout the night, Lewis had shown a particular interest in Lily, even though his friends reminded him to steer clear. Lewis was actually in a committed relationship and living with his girlfriend at the time. He even had a child from a previous relationship, and at the time he was engaged in a custody battle over his child in family court. His friends tried to remind him of his existing responsibilities and at the same time cautioned him against pursuing Lily as she was much younger than him. Although Lily was 18 years old and of legal age at the time, she was 13 years younger than Lewis. His friends' thoughtful reminders to try and keep him on track fell on deaf ears, and Lewis continued to make the moves on Lily. They were seen dancing, flirting, and even kissing at some point during the night, and it was clear that they were both attracted to each other. At around 2 a.m., the two agreed to leave the club together in search of a more quiet spot. CCTV cameras capture them leaving the Paddles nightclub. Nothing seems out of the ordinary. They walk toward an unlit alleyway just down the road from the nightclub, and this is where things got a bit more intimate. Lily's mom called her at 2.47 a.m., and Lily told her that she would be with her in a couple of minutes. It's believed that it's at this point that Lily stopped Lewis from taking things any further, 
and she told him that she didn't want to finish what they started. Lewis, who was someone who believed himself to be a bit of a ladies' man, didn't like being rejected, so he decided that he wouldn't take no for an answer. He grabbed Lily's phone from her and continued to force himself on her, while her mom was desperately trying to reach her. In court, it would later be revealed that on CCTV footage which has not been released to the public, grainy footage of Lewis and Lily was seen in the alleyway, and the cameras could see Lily's phone lighting up while her mom tried to call her. Lewis would later tell the court that it was at this point that Lily threatened to tell everyone that he sexually assaulted her, so out of panic and fear of losing custody of his child, he decided to strangle her in an attempt to keep her quiet. The alleyway opened up into the entrance of the mill pond, so despite not knowing if Lily was definitely dead, he still took her body and dumped her in the pond. After fleeing the scene and passing Lily's mom at the gas station, Lewis made his way through the woods and continued to his house. When he arrived home, he immediately told his girlfriend that he had strangled someone and that he'd been in the mill pond. He then convinced his girlfriend to immediately drive him to his parents' house, and when they got there, he confessed to killing Lily. He told his parents how he had met Lily at the club and even how he strangled her and dumped her body. His dad then drove with him to the mill pond, and it was there that they came across the lifeless body of Lily Sullivan. Lewis's dad called the police at 4.12 a.m., telling them about the body of a young woman in the pond. Despite emergency services attempting to resuscitate Lily, she was unfortunately pronounced dead at 6.02 a.m. She was found naked from the waist up, with her lace top laying next to the water. Her leather jacket and cell phone would later be found in the nearby alleyway. Police arrested Lewis Haynes shortly after discovering the body, and when they apprehended him, he told them that he had strangled Lily. That same day, Lewis Haynes was charged with the murder of Lily Sullivan. In May 2022, Lewis Haynes informed the court that he was willing to plead guilty to manslaughter, but not the more severe charge of murder. He felt that his attack wasn't premeditated and that he acted out in the moment. But as the trial continued and more evidence came to light, Lewis realized that the evidence against him was overwhelming, so he informed the judge in June 2022 that he now wants to plead guilty to murder. During sentencing proceedings, the defense requested a minimum term of 15 years before being eligible for parole. They highlighted that Lily had not been raped and that Lewis immediately showed remorse by confessing to his action and taking accountability. The Crown, however, requested that he be sentenced to a minimum term of 30 years. They said that although Lily hadn't been raped, there was a sexual element involved in the crime. They pointed out that Lily was found naked from the waist up and that her shirt was found next to the water. They said that there was no doubt that Lewis was the one who removed Lily's shirt against her will. They said that although Lily willingly went with Lewis to the alleyway and that there no doubt was a degree of intimacy between them, it was clear that Lily didn't want it to lead to intercourse. This was evident in the fact that she agreed to leave the very moment her mom called. They said that Lewis couldn't handle the rejection, and that's when he decided to physically assault Lily. On August 26, 2022, Lewis Haynes was found guilty of the murder of Lily Sullivan. He was sentenced to life in prison with a minimum term of 23 years before being considered for parole. During the victim impact statement, Lily's mom said the following, I wish I could go back in time and stop Lily from going out that night. I wish I could have protected her from the evil that she met that night. When I saw the man responsible for her death at the garage, I wish I had confronted him. Knowing that I was that close to her, I wish I'd have got out of my car and walked to her. Lily needed me. I always wonder if I could have saved her.